This is like deja vu because I keep repeating myself, but that's because it's simply true. These days, whenever I make a video about Leonardo AI and a new tool, a feature, or an update they just released, it's like a new one instantly comes out right after. And that's true yet again. Right after Leonardo AI released a new fine-tuned model, Kino XL, and their universal upscaler, which is amazing. We now get this one, Photoreal V2. Photoreal was already massively impressive, but now this one, dare I say it again, blows me away. This really is mind-blowing. But not only is Photoreal massively improved, but take a look of all of these new alchemy presets that you can now use. Now, if you want to talk about unique and innovative, this is it right here. And with that said, like every other new Leonardo AI update or feature, I'll be showing you another amazing prompt generator. And this one is now my new favorite. This new prompt will instantly generate 13 prompts for you, instantly, all based off of the newest Photoreal styles and presets, cinematic close-up, bokeh style, film, HDR, long exposure, macro, retro, stock photo, vibrant, cinematic, monochrome, realistic, and minimalist style. Make sure you click the links in the description to get this prompt plus thousands more. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at this new Photoreal V2 update and test out this new and amazing prompt generator. Introducing Photoreal V2. Create stunning cinematic photography and realistic portraits with our powerful new pipeline. This makes amazing hyper-realistic photos. Now, I've been experimenting with this quite a bit, and I have to tell you, this is amazing. Right when I thought Kino XL was going to be the best fine-tuned model, here we are with Photoreal V2, and this creates amazing-looking images. Okay, now that we're over here in Leonardo AI, here is where you can find Photo Real. Now, over here on the left-hand side, check this out. You see where it says Photo Real? Here's something pretty cool. So it's specifically designed to generate hyper-realistic photos and lifelike portraits. So let me go ahead and then turn Photo Real V2 on. So now that it's on, I have it selected, I have it toggled on. Now check this out over here in the Alchemy Presets. Once I expand this, look at all of these new Alchemy Presets. So some of the newest ones, which are amazing, we have Bokeh, we have Cinematic, but then we have Cinematic Close up. This is perfect to create images just like this. And then as you scroll down, you can see we have a few other new ones. Fashion, film, food, HDR, long exposure, macro, minimalist, monochrome, moody, neutral, portrait, retro, stock photo, unprocessed, vibrant, and then none. So this is one of the most exciting parts for me, especially if you're looking to generate a specific style of image. Now, another important thing to keep in mind, again, is over here on the left-hand side, do you see this little dialog box where it says version V2 and then model? It says Leonardo Kino XL. Go ahead and click on that. Now, look at this box that pops up. So from here, this is where you can toggle between V1 and V2. Now look at this. In V1, the only options you had were going to be the depth of field and then raw mode, on or off. But now, with V2, look at this. You can now actually create a specific fine-tuned model. Now, you have three options. You have Leonardo Diffusion XL, Vision XL, and then Kino XL. One other thing to keep in mind is don't forget about the elements. Look at this button where it says Add Elements. If I open this up, you'll notice there's actually another new element, and we have Cyber Tech right here. So now let's go ahead and then head over to my new Leonardo AI Mega prompts database. This one is primarily for Leonardo AI. That's because every single prompt has the image that goes with it. And then within each individual cell or prompt, you could see every fine-tuned model that was used in addition to the alchemy preset or element if I've used an element. You could see I have my fine-tuned model as Photoreal V2 and then in addition to the prompt and then alchemy preset. But then as you scroll down a little bit lower, you can also see that I have an element that was used in this one, and I used the new CyberTech one. If I want to click on the image to expand it, I can, and now I have the large image, and then at the bottom right-hand corner, I can select this blue download button, and then also download the image. So with this prompts database, there's an image for every prompt used. That way, you know exactly what sort of image you'll be getting. And then we're going to actually go to this prompt generator tab up here at the top. This is the prompt I'm going to share with all of you guys today. So if you don't have access to this data, database. I'll put a link in my description as well as the actual prompt. Make sure to check the links in the description. So for this one, let's go first over here and then copy this long whole entire prompt. Here are going to be the 13 styles of images that we're going to get 
when using this prompt. So now to make this prompt work, we're gonna head over to ChatGPT and you could have the free version 3.5 or you can use four. And this prompt is actually pretty long, but let's just go ahead and then send the message. Yes, I understand your requirements. Could you please provide me with the subject or keyword you'd like to use for creating these masterful Leonardo AI prompts? All you have to do now is just determine what keyword or what subject or style of image you want this prompt generator to create 13 other prompts for you with 13 different styles based off of the new alchemy presets. So I'll say a uh, woman walking through a modern city. And this is going to be important because what we're going to do is we're going to actually take these shorter prompts and we're also going to double up on them and get even more prompts by using Leonardo AI's prompt generating tools. All right, ChatGPT is done. And then look at this right here. Thank you for providing the subject. Here are the prompts for each style. So now check this out. We have everything from cinematic close-up, scroll down, and then we have all 13 prompts all the way down to realistic portrait to minimalist style. And then even the more unique ones like macro photography, HDR, long exposure, and then bokeh style or bokeh style. So let's go ahead and then choose this first one right here. Let's start with the cinematic close-up. And then I'll do a few of these prompts and then I'll show you exactly what these came up with. Now I'm back over here in Leonardo AI and then here's the prompt up here at the top. I went ahead and then I pasted that in. So we have photo reel selected. Since it's specifically a close-up sort of prompt for cinematic, we're going to select the cinematic close-up shot. And now while we're waiting on that, let's head back over to ChatGPT and then copy and paste a few more of these. And then I'll also show you what images were generated from this mega prompt generator. Okay, so now there we have it. We get three images and these all look incredible. Let me go ahead and click on the first one. Look at that. That is almost perfection. So let let me show you earlier what I did with that bokeh style photograph. To be honest, I really didn't know what bokeh or bokeh style photo was, so I had to actually ask ChatGPT. And the explanation is, it says, it refers to the aesthetic quality of the out of focus areas in a photograph, often characterized by soft blurred backgrounds with pleasing smooth transitions between light and dark areas. That's exactly what I got earlier today with these images, specifically transitioning between dark and light with the lights blurred and defocused in the background. So now back in chat GPT, I want to try a new keyword. So I said a superhero Batman looking directly into the camera. Now this time I'm using chat GPT version four just to see if the prompts are going to be a little bit more detailed and they have a little bit more of an explanation. Okay. So we have the cinematic close up. Now I also want to show you something incredibly unique. I'm going to go ahead and then copy this film one right here. Okay. Copy this one. And I'm going to head back over here to Leonardo AI and I'm going to paste this in. Now watch this. I still have photo reel. I'm now going to change it up to film. This was the specific style for film, but now watch this. I'm first going to generate and see what it's going to come up with as far as the image. Okay. So let's hit generate, but now I'm going to do it a second time and then use the same exact one. So leaving everything the same, but now I want to add an element to it. So let's try that. Let's try to add the Cybertech one, okay? Now that it's ready, look at the Batman ones that we first got. So we used Photoreal V2, film, and check these out right here. These look pretty cool. That's the first one, that's the second one, and now we have this third one, film style. If I scroll back up, still using the same prompt and film, but now I added an element, that Cybertech one. Now look at the difference, same prompt and everything, same preset, but now I get this new completely different looking image. And then here is the third prompt I chose to use. It's specifically for a close up shot of Batman's eyes. And I kind of like the way it tried to make this attempt with the Batman logo in its eye, pretty cool. So let's go back to chat GPT. And now let's try one more that's going to be a stock photo one, okay? Copy the stock one, paste this prompt in here, and now I'll do one for stock photo. Okay, hit generate on that. Now I'm going to come back into chat GPT and I'm going to do it one more time with one more keyword. And so this time I'll say a beautiful beach in Bora Bora. I'm back on 3.5. I'll try long exposure photography. Then I'll also try one for the stock photo element. Let me select stock photo. Okay, now I'll hit generate on this one. But then look, it looks like this other Batman one has been finished for us. And this is going to be the stock photo for the Batman one. And then that does look like that. This is going to be the perfect style image for a stock photo style Batman. And then let's take a look at the long exposure one for the beach in Bora Bora. This is fascinating right here. This looks phenomenal. And I think this will actually be a good image to add Leonardo AI motion to it. And then here we have the stock photo ones for the same style of a Bora Bora beach. 
this looks fascinating right here. Even this one right here. So if you look at this up closely, this does look like an image you could get from like an Adobe stock or an iStock photo. So that was the new mega prompts generator. But let me show you one more quick tip to really get unlimited amounts of prompts with Leonardo AI. So I'm back over here in ChatGPT with a fresh slate. I'm gonna go ahead and then paste this prompt in one more time. And now I'll enter something completely different. I'll just add something simple. I'll just put a uh, panda bear, okay? I have panda bear selected. I'm gonna get these prompts pretty quickly yet again from ChatGPT, and I'll do the uh, cinematic close-up one yet again. It's the first one. Head back over here to Leonardo AI, paste the prompt that we got in from ChatGPT, change it to a cinematic close-up. Now, I'll hit generate just to see what this can come up with, but keep in mind, now to really take full advantage of Leonardo AI, click in the prompt box and don't forget to hit these two dice buttons. You could do new random prompt or you could do improve prompt, but notice if I wanna improve my prompt, I have to make it a little bit shorter because it stops at anything more than 200 characters. So let's figure out what sort of keywords to take out. But first, here are the images we got with the new panda bear one. This looks fascinating. Again, this is definitely a cinematic close up. Now let's come over here and I'll just delete the whole entire last sentence. Now I'll click improved prompt. And now just like that, Leonardo AI is gonna give us a better prompt. And now we're gonna try this and generate that one. While this is producing the images, one more thing I wanna show you. Right here, don't forget about the prompt generation tool. If I click on that, come down here and then enter a basic prompt idea. This time I'll just say a panda bear, okay? And now I'll hit ideate. And now I have four more prompts I'm instantly going to get from Leonardo AI. So I have Majestic Panda Bear lounging in a bamboo forest. Let's just go ahead and hit generate on this one. I like the way that sounds, and now that's going to be generated. So here is the other one we have in a breathtaking close-up shot of the prompt generated from Leonardo AI. And so that's basically what we're doing. We're basically turning prompts into prompts into prompts multiple times. That's how we're going to get our unlimited amounts of prompts from one large prompt generator. So we're going to take advantage and leverage ChatGPT with the prompt generator, but then we're also going to utilize Leonardo AI's prompt generating tools. And then here we have this one right here, the Majestic Panda lounging. And this is compliments of Leonardo AI's prompt generator. Perfect. So there you have it. Another powerful update by Leonardo AI and now a prompt generator to go with it. So try it out, test it, and then let me know what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.